Let's talk about chain isomerism. Structural isomers which differ from each other in the chain of carbon atoms, we call that chain isomers. Now, to identify the number of chain isomers in a molecule, three points need to be considered. First point is, mother chain or main chain must differ. So while writing the IUPAC nomenclature of those compounds, you can observe that whether the mother chain or the main chain differs or not. If they differ, then they can be chain isomers. And second condition is isomers must belong to same class. That is, they must possess same functionality. So if one molecule belongs to alkane family, the next molecule has to belong alkane family. If they have the same molecular formula, then they could be chain isomers. And the third condition is position of that functionality must remain same. So these are the three conditions. Let's illustrate this with certain examples. So we have these three molecules. They have the same molecular formula that is C5H12. So all these molecules belong to alkane family. And now while looking at their na names, the first molecule is pentane that's also called as normal pentane it's having five carbon atoms in the main chain in the second molecule there's one branch so the main chain contains four carbons only so the name is 2-methylbutane or isobutane in the third molecule as there are two substituents that is two methyl groups on position two so the name is 2,2-dimethylpropane. So in the main chain, there are three carbons only. That's why we have propane. So this is also called as neopentane. So as in all the three cases, the mother chain differs. That is, in the first case, it's pentane. In the second, it is butane in the mother chain. In the third, it's just propane. So all these are chain isomers. In the same way, while looking at cyclic systems you have these two molecules they have the same molecular formula of c4h8 belonging to cycloalkane family first molecule is cyclobutane and the next molecule is one methyl cyclopropane this indicates that the main chain in first is butane in the second it is propane so the main chain differs the rest of the things are same so these are also chain isomers However, in the third case, these two molecules are having same molecular formula of C5H10. But while looking at their names, we have 1,1-dimethyl cyclopropane, the first molecule. Second molecule is 1,2-dimethyl cyclopropane. Now, in both these molecules, the mother chain, that is cyclopropane, remains the same. So, these are not the chain isomers. In the next case, the two molecules are having same molecular formula of C4H8, but first molecule is cyclobutane, the next molecule is 2-butene, as the two molecules differ in functionality, so they belong to different classes. This means that such molecules do not belong to same class, as is the condition for chain isomerism, hence they are not chain isomers. I hope you understand this. If you like my videos, please do subscribe. Thank you very much.